coming out of the back one way more. Oh, boy. All right. Get that press into the flush point. We're trying to flush these out. It's not going to make it to the top one, though, without any pressure. But flushing out. Get, getting it flushed out from the bottom. You get all that corrosion, which I'm going to... That little bit of corrosion that gets around the lift of these things here. And, um, you can flush CLR through the motor. But that needs to come from here. Or through the flush port, we can introduce CLR, but I don't know about that with the thermostat. So I'm Don's much safer, but it's not going to be as not going to be as corrosive in here and get the scale out. But everything looks pretty good, really. On the other side, this is what I want to slide. Same thing, basically, is happening if you get this front one here. Now, if we, if we put our hand over that one, it still won't reach the top. It's pouring out more over here Just now. pouring out more on the bottom. We still won't get it to reach the top. So, what we'll do is when he puts the bottom two back in, we'll, we'll put the flusher on it again, put it to the flush port, and then it should come out the top one, and then we'll seal that one off. Just to get any scale out that's loose. I don't want it in a the thermostat, so that's all. So that's what we're gonna do. Yeah, so we'll close these bottom ones off and get the pressure enough up, come to the top of the block and come out the top and that hole. All right, we're doing the anodes on this DF250 Suzuki. We've done everything else. The anodes finally came in. They're a little bit hard to get out, but not bad. But that's what one that's not good looks like. Yeah, that's bad. Where's your kitchen light, Josh? But since we've run the Dawn through it and let it hot soak a few times, you get it down some more, we can, no, it won't work with it. It's hard to see inside there. We got corrosion right on the end. Oh, there it goes, there it goes, a little bit. Yeah, the block actually looks good on the inside. Running that Dawn through it really helped it. There's just corrosion right where the, um, the anode was at. So it was doing its job. Um, but the inside of the block looks really, really good inside the holes. We'll check the uh, port side in a minute. We're doing the starboard now. You get that little bit of goop right on the edge where the anode was. So you're supposed to, supposed to take a look at these every 50 hours. I guess in some waters, I, I just, I can't, that's excessive it seems like, but I mean, somebody must have had a problem with them in 50 hours, or they wouldn't suggest that. Um, Yamaha is 100, I believe. 100 hours, you're supposed to take a look at them, the block anodes. But you're not going to know anything until you pull them. That's the problem. So you sit there every time you do maintenance and go, should I pull those? Evidently, the answer is yes, you should. And this is Suzuki, so way more plug changing, too, um, than Yamaha as well on that. So, separating this one this one might be a little bit more of a bear yep it's coming though this is why we run the dawn people right here a lot of people run clr this anode was doing its job that one's i mean it's got to be changed but it's, that one's not terrible because i can guarantee you all thousand hours on this motor is on that anode as well the block looks good in there can't see it from the phone but i, I can see it from here um, just the edge, it probably has some some of the uh, corrosion. That was not even corroded on the edge. Mm. Run the Dawn in your barrel. Put a gallon of Dawn in 100 gallons and run it and run it and run it. Don't run the motor hot though. And then run it some more. Just make sure this water's cool. Um, you can probably get, you can get around 15 minutes of run time before this water gets hot. And then I just let the motor hot soak. And then we wait a couple hours and we fire it up again, let the Dawn run through it some more. We've done that numerous times because we knew this motor was uh, neglected. But, uh, it's going to be okay, looks like. Hopefully. This is one more thing that's A-OK -okay for now. The port side might be, they won't even come out. A lot of times you'll get them where they won't even come out of there. And you can't beat on it and mess up that surface because there's a seal that goes on. It seals up to this surface right here. Um, 
I'll show you on the anodes. There's a little that little black seal. That's what keeps the water from shooting out of the motor. So um, if you mess up the when you get anodes, it comes with these new seals. But if you mess up that surface right there while you're trying to separate them, separate the anode from the block, you're gonna you're gonna have a problem. It don't seal back up. So well, this crap so tedious, you know. Got to be done. Though. We'll see what happens on the port side. So he's cleaning up the the bolts. Are, they're basically screws, but they have a hex head on them. Okay, those those. You got to keep these. Don't throw these away. So this is your cover plate. That the anode sits on for it goes this bolts into the outside of the block okay and then look at these anodes these things are rough man. at any rate you got to dig this out if you go too far you got to dig this 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 bolt out of that hole from the word old anode you know it's sitting in there and it's sitting there like this it don't just come right out you got to dig that out so then because the literal anode corrodes around the, the nut the, the bolt yeah the yeah, bolt. bolt hence why there's all that corrosion on the bolt itself that's right it's a terrible design so then that goes back on like that this is a new one and then the, the screw you have to reuse unless you want to just go buy new ones every time that goes back in like that and you put it all back together after you put the seal on it so that's how it goes like that Mm -hmm. Then we go back in the hole, cover the hole up, new anode installed. But it's a terrible, it's an awful design because of how, well, and it's also, you know, I say that, but somebody let these go too far. This is probably the easiest one to get off. When it gets Jimmy down in there, you know, one like this, it's hard to get that. He played a, played a big, big, hard, long game getting that, getting those bolts out of there, out of the old ones. So literally all you get with the anode kit from Suzuki is this and the seals. And there's other anodes, of course, but we're talking about the block anodes. And this is what salt water does. See what it does. And look at that, seriously. Luckily, as mentioned, the inside of the block looked okay. But we had done so many chemical flushes with Dawn and everything else and vinegar and everything else that... uh. It probably made this stuff easier for us than it would have been. And the inside of the block, again, thank God it looks great. So, just showing the design here. It's not very good compared to Yamaha. Okay, all the anodes are changed. We're going to check some temperatures here. We'll check cylinder number one there. Number one. About 125 or 8. Go down to the second one. 127, 128. About the same. 127, 128. Now, here's where all the cooling water is. And you still got the same reading. A little higher on the top as heat rises. Plus, that may not be completely full because we're at idle. As you run, the pressure will fill that up more. Temperature drop there. Down toward the bottom even lower and this water jacket here even cooler yeah then let's check this side cylinder number one second cylinder third cylinder that's actually in the jacket but on the head a little bit different reading probably but they're still good all 124 to 127 in the, in the block on this side up high about 135 124 down mid-session in the lowest part really cool really really cool Shows you how much that heat rises from there to there. It's about 10 or 15 degrees difference. And again, there's not much water pressure at idle like it will be when you're running. So 
That'll probably run actually cooler when it's running. And if it does go up, it'll be marginal. So everything's right with the motor, looks like. And the water coming out of here it should be 80, 85. Yeah, we're good there. The water in the barrel. It's starting to warm up. We don't want to go more than about 95 on that. So time to hot soak it. We'll kill it and let it hot soak now. Looking good though.